guys, uh, I'm here with Andrew, Old and Fat Exploration. You want to check out his channel. We're going to do a giant unboxing. There's some guys on YouTube that do unboxing and get big channels. We are here by the morgue. Um, there's a sign that says it's the morgue. We found the trays where they put the bodies. And outside that, these brights are light. Lights are bright. But it says, to St. Joseph's Hospital, Dan... Colin needs to fix cut on Tuesday. Dr. Howers already grossly described it. Alright guys, that's a little preview of what's coming up in this video. It's a long video. It's meant to give you the full experience of exploring the basement of an abandoned hospital, so stay tuned. There's some absolutely crazy stuff you're not going to believe that we find here. This hospital was opened in 1890 as a 30-bed hospital, St. Mary's Hospital in East St. Louis, Illinois. And in 2007, I believe it became Kenneth Hall hospital and uh, in about 2011 it shut down due to five million dollars a year in losses so stay tuned enjoy the video like subscribe share turn on notifications cool stuff oh. oh my goodness Hey dude, I figured out how to turn Vortex on. Are you doing it right now? No. The only problem is I gotta have a... Dude, did we just come from this way? No, we came from that way, didn't we? No, we came from this way. Patient tray service and di dietary. That was dietary. That looks really cool though, doesn't it? We did come from that way. Yeah, we came from this way, so we keep going that way. Soiled receiving. Restricted area. Proper attire required. We didn't go this way yet. See all the water? This place is humid. You can see all the water on the glass and dripping from everything. And I keep hearing noises out in front of me. This place is weird. It's almost like it's haunted or something. Whoa. This area is kind of wet, dude. Caution contains ethylene oxide cancer and reproductive hazard. TriStar. This might be some kind of washing area. I don't really want to get my camera wet. Holy cow, this place never ends. Preparation room. Biological hazard. Restricted area. Proper attire required. Huh. 
restroom vacant or in use. They got a sign to let you know if somebody's taking a crap or not. I need to get one of those at home. Duraflex. This place is nasty. I wish I had some boots like Andrew. AGA emergency response team. In event of leak or spill of any AGA product, call 1-800-AGA-0105 for technical advice or emergency response. All right. Holy cow, dude. Be careful down here. Here's a giant biohazard container. Here's a giant biohazard. Full of syringes, dude. It's a sharps container. This place is nuts. This looks like a like part of something for heating, like an autoclave or non non sterile office supply requisitions. Whoa, where's this go? Jeez, dude. Does this place ever end? What does this sign say? Materials Management Office. Gee, many crudness. Ask for Ronnie. Ring and ask for Ronnie. This is a cage. What do you think this cage there is? Hey Andrew, look at the light coming through. Hey, do you think we could find where they burn the bodies? I think I hear somebody talking. Huh? I've been in here. What? What is that? Break down to what's in here, dude. There's another hallway that comes through this way somehow, and it's either slide through here. Oh man, I don't think you're gonna make it, dude, because I can barely as bad as you are, Andrew. I'm just short, large. We better not miss like something really cool in here. So where do you think they burn the bodies at, dude? Hey, what are these doors? Huh? What are those doors? Did you say this is part of the kitchen? No, it started to be something else. Look at all the caution and poison signs. Attention employees, please close doors very carefully. If doors are closed, it will call cause elevators to stop in jam. I think these are for like hazardous, dirty, like uh, surgical and bloody rags and stuff. No eating or drinking in this area. No eating or drinking. Dude, you wouldn't catch me eating or drinking down here. I think this is the way out. Out of where? Out of hell. Kept danger chemical storage on that door. Man, dude. Watch out. What? Dude, look at that. It's an elevator full of water. Oh, water. This is nasty. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a good thing we got freaking respirators on.
B8. 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 Dude. This place is too freaking big, man. No cell phones. Cell phones prohibited. You know how to get out of here? Sure. Did you know this one? No, we didn't. Or, right, yeah. That's kind of... You can check it real quick and see if it's cool. Let me know if you find the body burning stuff. Triage, your comments are important to us. Pediatric medical care guidelines. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Calvin's Yellow Cab Service. I can hear the road. This is an entrance to the building to a pediatric wing. Oh my gosh. Important notice to patients and family. Did you see anything back there? And some signs about like pediatric something or other? Here's a couch. Some kind of couch sitting here. This is one giant, goddamn, massive wreck. Whoa! Huh? Yeah. Light bulbs, dude, they just pop. It's a good thing we got respirators on. Trauma? Dude, I'd like to. There was a map somewhere of the hospital. Yeah, I found it. Okay, did it say anything about uh, bodies? Like burning bodies, body disposal. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Oh. Biohead. Hey, where's the morgue? That's what I'm looking for. Well, you didn't say that. Should be in the basement. <laughs> no, where is it? Did you look on the map you found? Oh. Dude, there's so much stuff over this way, too. It's crazy. I can't believe the way the paint's peeling off those doors. It looks like fabric. DR7. DR8. Oh, dressing room. These are dressing rooms. Treatment or study. Caution. Something pregnant women before treatment or study begins. Technologist before. Hey, this is radiology. This is radiology. This is a radiology department. There's a bunch of dressing rooms to put your gown on. 
This might be like a little technician booth, maybe. Karstens. Hey, this thing's for hanging uh, film in. I think. Let me hang that back up like it was. Well, that didn't work. Women of childbearing age, if you think you might be pregnant, especially in early pregnancy, please tell the technologist before you are x-rayed. This is where they did x-rays. Notice, cell phones permitted, prohibited. MSDS info. Thermonol, 55. Heat transfer fluid. Electrical closet, no storage permitted. Oh my goodness. This looks like a radiology room for sure. They had a machine in here. And the technologist probably stood behind that little window. This door has been insulated with 8 tenths millimeter of lead or equivalent to a height of 7 foot from the floor. Cat scan control room. This door has been insulated with lead. Do not enter room when alarm sounds. Halon 1301 being released. CT control room. It's a CAT scan control room. I'm going to go in there in a second. This is the radiology wing. Hey, this looks like maybe a spot where they read the film. I found one already. Or maybe this is, man, look at these heavy-duty frickin' physician's viewing room. It would have been awesome if they left some film behind. Return to clinic. Loaned return films on the processor. Partner the films with patient jacket. Double-check the name. Place in plastic-colored jacket. Send in to be read. File in blue bin. Dude, these are where the... Uh, you know what these are, Andrew? What? This is where they put the film over those light bulbs so that the radiologist can read it. And they keep all the film in here. Here's a physician viewing room. That's what this room was back there. Um, we got some heavy duty freaking circuit breakers on these walls. Hey, there's a thing that says caution, watch your step. No kidding. Are you sure about that? Gee, many crap. Yeah, watch your step for sure. True fuel, 550 and 1. No smoking. Do not enter room. Oh my goodness. Jeez, Liz. Fudge. Those are discs. Steris. Calstat, other radiation facilities, radiological facilities deciding on selective use of LOCA. In these institutions, radiologists should give specific consideration to the use of LOCA and utilize the following guidelines, guidelines that are based on currently available evidence. Patients with a history of previous re adverse reaction to contrast material with exception of sensational heat, flushing, or single Episode of nausea or vomiting. Patients with asthma or allergy, blah, blah, blah. Man, look at the, the freaking carpet, man. Look how moist it is down here. There's water drops on everything. There's like condensation on everything. Hey, what's this? Look at this. Vacuum. Suction regulation. Approved for use by Biometrical Engineering Department. Did you see that? Vacutron. The x-ray arm. Did you even see that? No. 
Dude, we gotta find the more awesome stuff in this hospital because I guarantee there's stuff left in places. The patient rooms might be boring, but there's gotta be somewhere. There's gotta be somewhere over the rainbow where you can all make all your dreams come true. Dude, there's some mega power blocks up in here for running this stuff, man. Customer service survey. That's a weird thing to be down here. Fisher Price. We just went through there. That was how I got into that radiology. Dude, I don't even know, man. No cellular phones. What is it? This basement. Are you sure it ain't pretty? I, feel like they're going to back and... I don't think so, man. I'm reading all the signs. Fluoroscopy. Restroom. Those were the dressing rooms, maybe. Oh. Dark room. Here's a dark Dude, I, I almost. Housekeeping caution. Chemical storage closet. The chemical storage closet looks like a bathroom. Contrast media. Hey, there's some net mass. Anybody need some for Corona? I can ship them to you. What is all this? showing a mixture of vaginalis and mobiculicinous species. Clue cells in a saline wet prep. Attention, before leaving specimens in the basket, please be sure all steps below have been followed. Label with the patient's name, date of birth, etc. Think there's any specimens left? Was all microbiology. That's what that was. You are now standing in the microbiology department where they use microscopes. I got nothing back here. What are you is talking this? to them or me? I don't know. You too. Anybody that'll listen, I guess. All right. This place just every which way we go, it just keeps going and going. No food or beverage is allowed in this area. I don't remember this. No, this is new. It's a storage cabinet of some sort. set <laughs> a cysto bladder irrigation set uromatic plastic container st verona reed ph no 
There's another one of those uh, vacuum drums. What? That's a pallet. What's a pallet? It's a pallet. Yeah, yeah, pallet. What the heck is that thing? The linen room? It's electrical, no linden. I'll be right back. Bio bag. Where? No, I don't think so. Something about specimens. Hematology and urinalysis. Authorized personnel only. That better be work related. I bet. No smoking, drinking, or eating. It starts today. Huh. Yeah, right here. Hello Labs Assistant Tex. Maybe. It's like a sample box. Biohazard. Man, this whole area is flooded. You want some soap? God damn it. That way it's flooded, man. I tried to look, man. Your shoes are probably waterproof, aren't they? Be careful where you step. There's all kinds of like biohazard, biological hazard. Just this whole place is a freaking biohazard. Hey, it's the morgue. Any bodies brought to the morgue that have been found for 24 hours after death or show signs of bloating are to be placed in body bags due to risk of bloodborne pathogen exposures during transport into the building and in the morgue per infection prevention department thank you for being conscious of everyone's safety look dude here's the thing where they oh, there's the um where they have the body tray yeah man I told you, you wanted to go up. I was like, no, sir. Not till I find that morgue. This is the first time we've found and identified the dang morgue in a hospital. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is. We've been in several hospitals. Doctor, next cassette. Next case. Scro 9709. Hey, look. Biohazard. Mopec. You ever want to step into where they keep the bodies at? Whoa! God dang, it's not that tall. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I stepped up. I'm inside the body area, man. How many dead bodies do you think were in this area that I'm in? One. I say four. Well, I'm talking about like over the over time. Oh. Hundreds and thousands. I mean, there's a lot of murders in East St. Louis, dude. 
I'm probably sitting in an area that a lot of murder victims have been in. Hey, it's too bad you don't have uh, uh, equipment to do it either, too. Yeah. You know what else is too bad? What? That I don't have the equipment to live stream while I'm filming. Like, on. To the morgue? Yeah, more than just that. So? Maybe not. There should be. Did you find any bodies? Like some kind of equipment. What is it? Like a, some kind of roller. Find out. Hey, somebody put this up. Hi, Latoya Austin. Goodbye, Kenneth Hall. Goodbye, Kenneth Hall Lab. That's what the workers wrote before they left. Yep. I remember that door. Here's microbiology, dude. Let's go back. Kidney, lung, spleen, brain, liver. You see that? Yeah. That's not a good chalkboard, dude. Hey. Oh, that's an eraser, man. I thought there was chalk in there. I was going to put our names on it. Oh, well. That's pretty cool. Hey, guess what this is? I think this would have been the county coroner's office. So this would have probably been the county coroner's office. Uh, not much in here, but the emblem on the door was cool. guys uh i'm here with andrew old and fat exploration you want to check out his channel we're going to do a giant unboxing there's some guys on youtube that do unboxing and get big channels we are here by the morgue um there's a sign that says it's the morgue we found the trays where they put the bodies and outside of that these brights are light lights are bright but it says to saint joseph's hospital dan Colin needs to fix cut on Tuesday. Dr. Howers already grossly described it. And then on the other side it says, return to KHRA. And we have no freaking idea what's in here. Um, it says 504912. Is it heavy? It's got some weight in it. If this has been here for a long time, it's been unrefrigerated. And since 2010, here back my camera up a little, so we're getting overall view. <laughs> Dude, I need two gloves, man. We have no clue what is in this. This is suspense. Dude! Oh my god. Dude! Oh my god, it's organs. It's real. It is. Dude! Oh my god! Dude! Oh! Is that a kid? This is a real kidney. It is. Dude, we found a real human kidney in a hospital. Dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, 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 dude. Oh my god, it's 10 years old. I won't stay up. Dude. Man. Oh man, dude. Dude. It's a rotten human kidney. Put it back down, man. Do you got this on your camera? No. Why are you not filming? Because my GoPro's on. Oh man. Dude. Yeah, let me, uh. Dude. Hey. Here before. No, you hold it. Hold it. I can't, man. I got this nasty stuff. Okay, ready? I'm going to take a photograph. Get it to where. Dude. That's nasty. Alright, back it up, man. Alright. Oh. Here. I'm going to let you look at it. 
Dude, there's more organs, dude. This stuff we're walking around in here, dude, look. There's another organ been busted open, man. What's this transport bag say? <laughs> oh no. What's that one? It's a colon. It's somebody's colon. Dude, you want to know something? It looks like the same kind of buckets that chicken livers come in. You know, when you go to the store and they got Tyson chicken livers, man, this looks like the same kind of bucket. Would you get mad if I splashed some of this on you? <laughs> hey, don't. Why? Let me get a picture. <laughs> you said a bad word, man. Yeah. It's a good thing you brought the good glove. Oh, it's a colon, dude. Oh. Dude, it's human tissues, man. What the heck is going on? Dude, why did this hospital just leave people's organs laying in the building? Dude, it looks like a, like a bucket for like fishing bait worms. Dude, these are real freaking organs, man. Hey, don't kick them at me, bud. Please. I see. I don't want to tear my glove, though, man. Here, help me. Dude, this whole floor is soaked with organs, man. Look. You ready? Here, help me. It's a little heavy. Okay, stand it up. Thank you, sir. Good work. I'm proud of you. Dude, this might have been an organ cart, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, how many people have found freaking body organs? See what's in that one. It's kind of open already, man. Yeah. And it's all in this water that we're walking in, dude, I think. So we got the kidney and the colon. Dude, what kind of place is this? Are those body bags? What is that bag? Dude. I couldn't wait for that. Oh, shoot. It's more organs, dude. What was that organ again? The colon. Oh. Kidney? Dude. Is that a kidney? I don't know, man. It's freaking gross, dude. Dude, I'm freaking really grossed out, man. I'm about to throw up. Um, let's leave. Stop, don't get your toes wet, dude. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna, man. I'm gonna, we can't go that way out, dude. We gotta pass back by. Holy jeez. Dude, did, did you, you have... imagine what other people found in these containers? No, this whole floor is soaked with organs, man. This whole wet floor, man. Oh, damn. What? No, it ain't. Oh, it is. Don't you think stuff's mixed into the water? Well, yeah, I yeah. guess. All floating through here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standing in freaking people's organ water, man? Oh, my goodness. No, I'm sure it did, Andrew, to be honest. I'm not, like, making that up. Okay, man. Exit, let's go. Oh. Dude. Dude, if I would have dropped something in them organs, that would have been it. I would have just left it. The camera? I don't know, man. I'd have to devise a way. 
So, we went up one floor, right? Hey, hold this, please. Try to strip this glove off. This is all I want to got left if we find something really cool. Do you find what had that in my pocket? We couldn't open that. No, it wouldn't have. I wasn't going to. That was not. Second floor. And hell. The first floor. Yeah, but this one. Dude. I think we're in here. Okay. Maybe. Well, we're back on this side of the hospital, so you're right. See? I can't see anything, man. Mine just looks like I got a, uh, a soft little haze. Mine's like really fog. Mine's not so, too bad. Into the light, man. Here's the next floor. I'm gonna show So, guys, as you can see, this hospital is pretty much completely trash, but this raises a lot of questions as to why these organs were left in the hospital um, and are still there 10 years after it closed. Uh, also, who scattered them? The whole hospital's been looted, probably all the stainless steel, any metal of value's been stripped out of this place, anything that could be sold somewhere or scrapped has been stolen. Um, but who knocked over all the buckets of organs and scattered them down the hallway? Probably raises a lot of questions for you, just like it does me. If you have any thoughts on it, please leave it in the comments below. Also, the there will be more footage coming from this Explorer because this was a giant hospital. Um, lots of new stuff coming up for you guys to watch. Please like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to turn on the notification button. If you're new to the channel, go look through our videos. Uh, there's tons of stuff that you'll probably enjoy. In the future videos about this hospital, I'll probably include a lot more uh, history about the hospital and information. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you next time.